Hello and welcome to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons and tonight to get comfortable here. It's AJ Fernandez night. Uh, it was a toss up between the Enclave and the New World. And I picked the New World. No particular reason. It was one or the other. And uh, this is a box press Toro, six and a half by 55. When I lay this down, it's not going to roll away. There's a good reason. Uh, <laughs> this is a Nicaraguan Puro, all Nicaraguan tobacco. East dark wrapper, uh, binder, filler, all from different regions. Amatepe, Kandega, Jalapa. Nice, nice blend of different Nicaraguan tobaccos in this. It's a uh, nice, beautiful, artsy. Label. And the AJF ribbon on the foot. Uh, one difference between this and the uh, Enclave is well the Enclave has a Rosada Habano wrapper I believe and it also has an unfinished foot whereas this has a cut foot. Uh, the Enclave I have is not a box press. This is. There are just a couple of differences. Uh, honestly, I've never tried the Enclave. I have had one of these. This was the uh, 2014 Cigar of the Year, I believe, from Cigar Aficionado. And it was sometime last year I had one of these in a smaller size and I'll be gosh darn if I can remember what it tasted like so it's almost like a first time for me but not really uh, I wanted to mention I bought these a five pack of these and the five pack of the Enclave from a place called cigarpage.com check out this website they had a f you sign up for their little newsletter thing they send you an email clicked on the link took me right to a wholesale of uh, different AJ Fernando Fernandez uh, products uh, I was thinking San Latano there was San Latano there were these there were the Connecticut version of the New World, there was Enclave, uh, all different sizes, five packs at a drastic discount. Okay, I got these, New World, five pack, $20 and 21 cents or something like that. That's, for those of you who can do the new math, that's four bucks a piece. That's pretty darn good. Uh, Enclave was a little more expensive, 23 I think, for the 5-pack, uh, which makes them about $4.58 a piece. Also pretty good. Very good. So I'm quite pleased. So it wouldn't have mattered which one I picked. I was going to enjoy it either way because I got a really good price one. So, But at any rate, I babble as usual. Get this guy snipped here. Uh, a friend of mine, Trent, who is the man behind the Chalice God 13th cigars, sent me a link to a 
a video from someone at Cigar Aficionado who uh, tells the story about lighting a proper way to light a cigar. He said like 30 years ago he met this Mexican gentleman and told him about this three match method where he took uh, three matches out and lit one without cutting the cigar. Toasted the end until he couldn't hold the match anymore with the second one. Kept toasting, kept spinning. And meanwhile, this fellow is demonstrating this in this video. It's on YouTube. Uh, get to the third match. Really make sure the center of the cigar is toasted. Then you cut it and draw. And this Mexican gentleman claimed that this was you know, a way to keep all the impurities out of the the uh, initial lighting and to get just the uh, the actual smoke taste of the tobacco. I tried it with one of Trent's Shallow God 13th CG 13 cigars and it was a delicious light, it actually was. I just did it with a lighter, but I cut it first. <laughs> you can do it. it. Worked really nicely. It's just a little time consuming. So not something I wanted to really do here, but maybe one day. First puff I got off of this, sweetness. Sweet, almost like a dark honey kind of sweetness. There's a bit of spice on the finish. Quite spicy coming out the nostrils. Very earthy, rich earthy flavor, but not too much, not too much else right at the start here. This has some Lahiro in it, and uh, so I'm expecting a bit of uh, a bit of spice, maybe some pepper. Uh, this is a medium to full-bodied cigar. So, see what happens. I'm already getting a little leather, coffee, usual suspects in Nicaraguan with quality tobaccos. Earthy, leathery, some coffee, some spice, some sweetness, kind of a dark honey, light, light molasses, kind of riding the fence there. Mm. Quite a tasty start. I am uh, rarely disappointed with an A.J. Fernandez cigar. Uh, Some, some top-notch blending goes on there. Some top-notch tobaccos. Uh, makes for a good mix. So, at any rate, I'm going to work my way into the uh, first third here. Now, this is a half inch longer than a normal Toro, uh, which is generally six inches, so six and a half. And we're heading toward the Churchill length. But uh, see how it goes. All right, I made my call. I'm sticking to it. Coffee, leather, earth, spice. 
sweetness. Be back in a couple minutes. See what progresses. Okay, welcome back to the cigar area with the AJ Fernandez New World and Toro. Uh, got a little bit of a curvy dip in the burn here. Uh, I haven't touched it up. I'm going to smoke it a little bit more and see if it, I have a feeling it might straighten out. Flavors. Still a hint of coffee, but that tapered off. The leather is the dominant flavor now. Still earthy, but dominant leather flavor. And a nice, rich, spicy finish. Uh, kind of like a black pepper spice. But, but there's still that underlying sweetness in there, too. Uh, it's not, not as potent as it was at the beginning, as far as the sweetness goes. But uh, still there. As you approach the finish and enter into that spice, there's a sweet layer that just uh, kind of guides you into the spice. It's nice, very nice. Uh, Strength-wise, definitely medium to full. Definitely medium to full body. Smoke is chewy. It's 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 almost textured. It's very uh, it's got a real beefy character to it. Not beefy as in flavor, but beefy as in beefed up uh, kind of consistency to the flavor to the. Uh, I'm sorry, to the, uh, to the quality of the smoke. It's a nice easy draw. It's, it's a nice, it's got some good weight to it. It's, it's very firmly packed. Uh, I didn't really show the label, the, uh, wrapper too much at the beginning, but barely any veins visible at all, and, and the seams are practically invisible, I and mean, you really have to look hard to see the seams. Very, uh, beautiful well-made cigar and quite tasty and uh, the burn you can see it's starting to it's starting to straighten up a little bit just as I speak here so I'm not going to touch it up I'm going to see what happens with it but I'm going to continue on into the second third here I lost the ash at about a little over a half inch fell off as I was picking the cigar up fell off on the floor uh, my first real drop on the floor since I vacuumed so I was doing pretty well there making the ashtray for a few days <laughs> uh, any rate I'll be back in a couple minutes <laughs> alright back in the second portion of the new world by AJ Fernandez uh, that original curve in the burn straightened itself out nicely but now I got another one a little dip there but once again I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch it up I'm just gonna let it go because I think it'll straighten out uh, definite change in the flavors in the second portion uh, the, the uh, leather flavor subdued and that coffee came back nice rich dark coffee flavor the spice is a little more mellow uh, the peppery spice on the finish more like a white pepper now it's, and it still has that sweetness so it's it's calmed down quite a bit it's not uh, it's not nearly as potent as it was in in the beginning it's still medium to full I would say uh, it's still it's still got some strength to it and, and uh, it's uh, it still has that chewy kind of smoke, but it is not uh, not quite as wild as it was in the beginning. It's much more subdued. I like the sweetness that that's running through it. it that's been the constant. It's that uh, dark honey kind of a sweetness as you enter into the spicy finish 
very nice. Uh, I wanted to say, um, I had mentioned I got these from CigarPage.com. I forgot to mention, not only do they have great prices and a great special every day, they'll, they'll, they'll pick a brand out and give all different sizes and different blends of that brand and knock the price way down, but they also have free shipping all the time which is a great, great thing. Actually, it's Tuesday. I ordered these on Monday. Okay. Now, granted, I'm in Pennsylvania, and they're in Pennsylvania. But I got them the next day with free shipping. So I thought that was pretty cool. I thought I'd bring that up. Uh... What else was I going to say? Uh, apart from the, uh, well, I'm going to take the, the band off at this point. Uh, apart from the uh, flavor changing, uh, the flavors haven't become any less noticeable, uh, recognizable, I guess is the word I want. They are very easy for me to pick up on and they're the kind of flavors I expected from a cigar like this the all Nicaraguan tobacco with some Lajero in there expect some some leathery flavor some spice uh, but that sweetness in there is that's a bonus that's a bonus for me I it's not a Maduro it is a pretty dark wrapper, but it's not marketed as a Maduro. This is a very cool wrapper. I, I believe it has... I don't know. I could be wrong. I didn't look at it up close and I don't have my glasses, but... could be a Christopher Columbus type thing. I don't know, you be the judge. Definitely looks like a sailing ship and some explorers on there. Discovering a new world. I'll tell you what, I like this cigar. Very excited to uh, try the Enclave as well. Uh, I put this up on uh, Instagram you know, about which one I was going to choose, and I got some comments on both. Uh, apparently, they're very both very popular blends. Not surprising. This is very good. But I'm going to sail my way see what I can discover in the third third and uh, see if we get any more of those flavor changes and see what happens be back in what will seem like no time all right I'm back in the final third of the AJ Fernandez new world in the Toro size um, the flavors pretty much stayed the same in the final third as they were in the second with that creamy uh, not creamy but the uh, coffee flavor followed by the sweetness and then the spice pretty much stayed the same from the, the middle to the end here uh, the only thing that's a little bit different is the spice has really mellowed out I mean it's just very faint at this point but the coffee flavor is very s strong and has continued on quite nicely and the sweetness is still there it's actually gotten a little more mellow 
all in all, <clears throat> more like a medium now than toward the full range. Uh, so we started off in the initial first few puffs with some hints of coffee, hints of leather, earthiness, and a strong spice and sweetness, dark honey sweetness. The first third was pretty much just solid leather, then the sweetness, and then the spice, pepper spice, black pepper. In the middle we switched from leather to coffee, the dark honey sweetness remained, uh, the spice mellowed a bit to like a white pepper. Now in the final third we have the coffee, very little spice but still has that sweetness running through it, which has made it nice. It's mellowed out quite a bit, so it went from pretty strong to not quite as strong to mellow, which is nice in a Toro. Rather than getting consistently stronger, it mellowed out, and uh, I've been smoking this for almost two and a half hours. So it's a good long smoke. Haven't been hitting it real hard, but uh, the burn was a little wavy. It's, it's still not perfect, but I did not have to touch it up. Every time it got a dip in it, it straightened itself out, which was nice. It's a darn good tasting cigar. I can see why it was the number one cigar in 2014. Uh, very good. Nice balance, nice flavor profile, nice complex mix of flavors. Uh, well made cigar. And really, uh, if you buy these in a five pack, they're, they're a good bargain. Especially if you can get them on sale. As I said, I got these from cigarpage.com. It's a good place to get good cigars. I've gotten some other ones. i got some Espinosa, uh, I think it's a Special, uh, a couple others recently, five packs, very inexpensive compared to buying singles or buy a box. <clears throat> it's a great way to try out a cigar. Uh, and if you can get premium cigars for like four or four fifty a piece, with free shipping that's alright with me so as a regular guy looking for premium cigars at a good price I give this a 10 out of 10 no question it's a good tasting cigar lasted a long time burned pretty well and it tasted really good uh, very enjoyable so New World, AJ Fernandez, check out cigarpage.com, good place to check out for uh, five packs, always free shipping, like I said, I ordered these Monday, got them Tuesday, can't beat that, so until next time, thanks for tuning in, I'm Mike Simmons, this is the Cigar Area, and uh, Please check out my other videos on YouTube and my website, thecigarearea.com. Come on, enter the contest. Uh, I have a pair of Man of War, another AJ Fernandez brand, uh, coffee mugs for this month, plus uh, my friend Trent from Chalice Gods 13 is putting a cool skull ring, and we like skull rings. Cigar area. He put up a skull ring there for for another prize for a June first drawing. So check it out. Until next time. Happy smoking. Is 